All right, guys, here we go with today's multiplayer round. As you can see with the countdown there, there's less than two weeks to go in this season. So for me, I feel like it's time to finally buckle down, try to play smart and not be as risky as I normally am and see if I can make a little bit of a climb. My goal this season is to hit 1,000. Never done that before. Come real close the last couple seasons, but haven't done it. So I figured it'd be a good, good goal for myself this season. But I'm a ways away right now, so definitely need the time. We got Nasty Nate and BMTH96. I think that's Andrew or whatever his name is. It's always claiming he's the best. So we'll, Oh, I didn't get to see the layout. So normally I would run this, but with this wind and trying to play smarter, I'm just going to play this one safe. Looks like he's taking the low route. I like to go Vandal, default aim. We're going to put a little bit of Annie on this because of this wind. And then let it come on back. My thumb kind of slipped a little bit. Not the best shot. 53 feet though for the birdie. Should be able to get that. And then also, a week from today, next Wednesday morning, I'll be starting the next point round competition. So keep an eye out for that. We'll see. Uh, I'll kind of go through the points as we play this round. But it'll explain all the points and explain everything you need to know if you haven't done the competition yet. There, are, There is some minor changes to the scoring, so definitely tune into that video and then send me your screenshots to uh, potentially win some sweet in-game prizes. So we're going to go for the ace here. It's my normal play. Clyde skip rive. Forehand. One skip off of this. This isn't definitely not going to ace it, but we're going to be safe for the birdie. Just hyzered out a little too soon. Nasty Nate must have missed. The Mando ends up with a bogey, so we get a couple strokes on him. Still no points as far as point round competition go. Again, it's just a way to kind of make your multiplayer rounds more exciting. We're going to go glide skip rive on a forehand here. Make sure I put plenty of hyzer against the, or anhyzer against this wind this looks perfect maybe a shot at making this skip off nope not enough distance i needed a little shorter to skip off that rock but no such luck and again no points so as far as the points go i'll run through them real quick a few minor changes so aces are worth two points uh, throw-ins over 175 feet are worth two points and then it's all cumulative so birdie or eagle are better is worth a point and then tap ins birdie or better tap ins are worth another point and then a par is worth negative one and then any score over par is an additional minus one so bogey's worth minus two so normally i would run this and i really want to in this wind but I'm trying to stick with my guns here and play this safe so we're just going to go for the tap in with the glide sapphire which i had the pd and we get the tap in. So that's worth a point in the point round competition. Birdie or better tap ins. So like for example, you get an ace, that's three points. Because you get two points for the ace and then a point for the eagle. <clears throat> a throw in of over 175 feet, you get two points. If it's for eagle or better, then it's worth three points. Because you get the extra point for being an eagle. This might sound really confusing, but it's really not. And then all I need to prove your scores <clears throat> are screenshots of tap-ins and throw-ins of more than 175 feet. So, for example, if I make this throw-in, see if I can do this, 185, forehand, pure, see if we can put this one in, get in there, bam, got it. Take a screenshot just like that and it shows you right there in the corner there it shows the distance so that would be worth three points two points for the throw in and a point for the eagle <clears throat> this one ooh, i'm gonna go with the default aim harp see if we can get an ace here so if i get an ace it's two points for the ace and a point for the eagle Uh, that's off too far to the right. Darn it. Not going to be a tap in either. So no points here. And then again, all I need is for proof is 
of screenshots of tap-ins and screenshots of throw-ins and then a screenshot at the end of the round of your scorecard. So that bogey by Nasty Nate would be worth minus two. That prevents people from, last season people were just re-throwing from over 175 feet knowing that it's just minus one for par or worse. But then they'd get the two points for the throw-in once they finally made it. But trying to prevent things like that from happening kind of goes against the spirit of the competition. All right. Frozen Valley 9, glide, skip, arrive. I like to aim a little high with this wind. And then hopefully catch this skip. You never know if we're going to get a good skip. It seems to be on a good line. Don't hit the pole. Oh, that's money. That's going to be an ace. Go in the basket. Nope. Stop. Oh, did I get under the tree? I don't know. I think I'm... I don't think I'm going to catch tree here. 77 feet into the wind. Nice. Nice. We get the eagle. So another two points there for that. So I think we had the birdie tap in and then the throw in. So that's four. Five for the eagle there. So not a great score, but still not bad. <clears throat> not the best wind here. I'm just going to go with my straight pull. And a little bit of Anheuser. Hopefully misses that tree at least. Didn't really think I'd have much shot at this one anyway. Maybe if we can bend this around with the harp. 156. Oh, it's short. Had it online. Didn't give it enough. Get another. So I take a screenshot there for that tap in. So not the worst point round. Decent example of how it would work. Hopefully this gives you an idea if you haven't done it yet. But next Wednesday morning, it'll go for a week. I'm doing it the last week of the season on purpose. That way some of the good players that are concerned about their ELO and ranking and like to just have their accounts sit there, give some of the other players a chance to, to win. And my another new rule for this season is no alt accounts. So that prevents people from round sniping or layout sniping and then also from letting their main account just sit there on the leaderboard while they use their alt account to not really care about uh, which layout or things like that. So next Wednesday it'll start. There's today's multiplayer round of the day. Let's take a look at the greatest in the game. Take a look at his bag. He's got the Sticky Hope and the Glide Hope. The Windbreak Fuse and the Glide Claymore, the Roll Musket and the Glide Musket, a couple of glow discs there. He's got the Glide Sapphire, the Windbreak Explorer, the Water Skip Recoil, the Water Skip Paradigm, the Glide Skip Paradigm, Light Glide Rive, Glide Roll Rive, and he goes with the Glide Captain. Very versatile bag there, tough player, good competition. I was able to get the job done that time. But there you go, guys. There's today's multiplayer round of the day. Hopefully I can start climbing that leaderboard and hit my goal of 1,000. And then next week, keep an eye out for that point round competition. As always, guys, thanks for watching me play some DGV.